Hello, my name is Dennis, and welcome to my Trailer Park White Trash Mobile Home Kitchen. I really do live in a mobile home, in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. Last week it was cold and it rained quite a bit, and that always makes me want to eat soup, and I didn't have any soup in the freezer. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a minestrone soup. I'm going to call this a minestrone classico. Supposedly there are two origins, two lines of minestrone soup in Italy. There's the Genovese, which use pasta. They don't use any meat. Then there's the Milanese. They use rice rather than pasta. They use onions. They do add meat. I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I'm just going to call this minestrone classico. So let's get right into the ingredients I'm going to be using for making my minestrone soup. As you can see here, I have a lot of ingredients. I can barely fit everything into the frame. I have three ounces, which is about 90 grams of mushrooms. These are shiitakes. If you want to use dry porcini, soak them for about 20 minutes in warm water, then filter the water well and save that for your soup. I have one quarter pound, which is about 110 grams of Swiss chard, leaves only. One quarter pound, 110 grams of spinach, leaves only. I'm going to be using eight cups of vegetable stock. The original recipe called for using water only. If I can use stock, I use stock because it'll give me a richer flavor. I have two small zucchini. They're about 125 grams each. Two medium white potatoes. They weigh about 400 grams each. I have one medium eggplant. That's about 350 grams. Other vegetables you might consider are carrots. I'm going to be using a carrot here. You can use onion, tomato, rutabaga, parsnip, peas, celery. Again, this is a vegetable soup. Feel free to use whatever vegetables you like in your soup. I have two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two cups, which is roughly 225 grams of soup pasta. You can use tubetti. I'm actually using lumicini here. Some sort of small pasta that would be good in a soup. Again, about two cups or roughly 225 grams. The weight's going to change depending upon the size of the pasta. And then I have two cups of beans here. This is about 350 grams of cannellini beans. You can use white or navy beans. I soak these overnight. One thing I like to use in my soup, I'm using my cannellinis because I need to use these up, but oftentimes I like to use these bean blends in soup. This is like a 15 or 16 variety bean blend. I think these are great in soup. And then you want to use salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Finally, I'm going to be using one quarter pound of my prosciutto that I'm going to be dicing up and putting in my soup. And then for garnish, I've got here some of my homemade pesto. The Genovese typically put a nice big helping heaping teaspoon of pesto in their soup to finish it up. I'm actually going to be putting a teaspoon or so of the pesto on top of my bowl of soup when it goes out, when it, I'm serving it. You can also garnish your soup if you want with some grated Parmesan or Romano cheese. So those are the ingredients that I'm using for my soup today. I've got my beans here. I'm going to be heating these up to boiling over medium heat. And then as soon as the water comes up to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat to low. I'll probably move this back to a simmer burner on my stove. I want to barely simmer these beans. The more the water agitates, the more it'll break up the beans. So to keep these beans from breaking up, I'll put it on a simmer burner. And one of the tricks that I do is I will even stack one hob or grate on top of another and then put my beans back on to raise it up even higher off the heat to save those from breaking up. Oh, and these beans need to cook until they're tender. That's going to take about an hour and a half. I'm bringing my stock now up to the boil. Here's the advantage of working with stock. If I were to use plain water, I would have to cook my vegetables, simmer them in the water for like at least an hour to give that water some flavor. Otherwise, it would just taste like boiling water. By working with stock, I only have to cook my vegetables until they're done, and therefore they're not going to get all mesh mushy by cooking for an hour. 
So there's my potatoes and my eggplant. I have a lot of vegetables, by, by the way. These will cook down. That's the eggplant and the potatoes. This is the tomato, not the tomatoes, the mushrooms, the leafy vegetables, the carrots. So I'm going to cook these for probably over medium-high heat for a good for about six to eight minutes until tender. The beans have been cooked. Those are drained. I'm going to put a lid on this and I'm going to cook that down. Oh, I forgot to add the oil. I want to put my olive oil in there and then I'll taste this for um, salt and pepper after I get things cooked down. My water has come up to the boil here. You can just see it simmering there. You can see that those vegetables have at least the leafy vegetables have all boiled down. The chard and the spinach. Now I'm going to simmer this. I reduced the heat to medium low. I'm, I'm going to simmer this for about six to eight minutes. And that'll just cook my vegetables and then I'll be ready to add my beans. In the meantime, I've got water heating on the stove. I'll talk to you in a moment about cooking the pasta. By the way, I did check this for salt, and boy did it need salt, which I figured it would because I make my stock without salt. I probably put in a good, at least a tablespoon of salt in there. So there's my cooked cannellini beans going in, and then finally my diced prosciutto. As far as dicing those vegetables, I dice them up not too small. I mean, I'm not making a stew, I'm making a soup. So I think of the vegetables being diced about the size of my pasta. Or my beans, so that the texture, the sizes are about the same. This is off the heat now. Well, my heat is on low. I want to turn my heat off. and just give this a stir gently because I don't want to break those beans up. As I mentioned, I adjusted this for salt and pepper. While my pasta is cooking, I'm just going to let this sit. This, typical for a lot of foods, will be even better tomorrow. As far as the pasta, if I were going to be serving this whole thing to guests this evening, I would probably cook up the two cups of pasta, if not even three cups. But because I'm going to be portioning this and putting it away in the freezer, if I cook up all my pasta now, it'll get mushy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this away without the pasta, but I'm going to cook enough pasta each time as I need it and then just mix it into the heated soup. Okay, so I cooked my pasta until it reached an al dente stayed according to package directions. That was about seven minutes. This soup pasta cooks more quickly. Might as well just put all of this in there. It looks so good. And then to finish this off, I'm going to put a nice dollop of my pesto right on the top. And then that can be stirred in and enjoyed. The last step is to see how good this tastes. I'm so looking forward to tasting this. I love Italian food anyways, and I love soup. Oh, wow, that is good. By not overcooking the vegetables, it has a nice al dente texture to it. The broth is delicious, so excuse me. I gotta go enjoy my minestrone classical. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step by step photographs, Visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.